Howdy guys. Well, we've just spent six days in the Barossa. Cold days, cold yeah. days. And rainy and yeah, it was, other than that, I uh, can't control the weather, but the six days have been fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We, uh, we stayed at the Big Four at uh, Noriokta and uh, visited all the little towns in the Barossa Valley there, Angerston and Truro. And anyway, it was uh, a fantastic, fantastic week. Yes. So we got to we got to go to quite a number of wine wineries, as you do when you're in the Barossa Valley, and uh, they're spectacular in their architecture, but their wine is pretty special as well. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <coughs> managed also to. Uh, catch up with a good friend of mine that I haven't seen for about 44 years. Uh, we're in the services together and it all started for us here. We did our rookies here in Elizabeth, um, which is just down the road. So it, that was really special. So uh, uh, thanks to Lou and Anne for calling in and seeing us. So we had a night together. One of our other experiences here at the Barossa was um, we took part in the Barossa gin making uh, school. Um, shout out to Brett. Uh, we had four hours with Brett making our own gin. It was pretty special. Now Jennifer's gin, not mine. <laughs> so that was a gift from my uh, kids for uh, my birthday. So it was just, it was great fun. Really great fun. And then, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then the next day we uh, headed over to Maggie Beer's farm. definitely get to Maggie Beers even if you can't get to the lunch. It's really a, a, a something really special so it was beautiful food though. Absolutely stunning food uh, you know, and everything's grown on the farm, uh, literally everything. Even the butter they serve uh, with the bread is made on the farm so yeah. absolutely everything is, uh, is, is fresh and, and yep and it's absolutely stunning. <clears throat> so we're leaving um, Today, uh, like I said, it's cold, wet and windy. Yeah, it's only 8 degrees and it's very, very windy, so a bit of a, a not a pleasant pack up this morning. But uh, anyway, that's all okay, it's all part of it. Uh, we're heading down to a place called Point Turton, which is down on the bottom of the coast. Uh, it also is, it, I expect that down there to be very, very wet. And um, probably still windy and definitely still cold, but um, after that we're heading up to the wharf, so stay tuned and we'll share our experiences with you. Yeah, yeah, so we'll let you know uh, how things go. So we've finally arrived, thank goodness. It's been a long day, a long, wet, windy drive down to Point Turton, but we're finally here and we're going to go straight into the caravan park. We already know which site we want because we've uh, had some inside information. So uh, uh, we're here, thank goodness.
Okay, so we're going to do a bit of a day trip today, Bobby. I think we're going to go down and have a look around the bottom of the York Peninsula, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's really easy just to base yourself somewhere and jump in the car. So we're going to go down to um, Marion Bay and we've, we've actually um, duck across to, and then we'll duck back across to the bottom and then we'll go up through Berry Point and up to Corny Point. But Yeah, head out uh, and have a look at the... As you're driving around the, on the dirt road around the coast, you'll see that there's lots and lots and lots of these little turnoffs that run into bush camps. Yeah, and they're, um, uh, I think you need to pass or you need to book online. Possibilities, maybe you got the best. 